Greetings, Greetings, Earthlings. Earthlings. <laughs> <laughs> this is sort of official. This is very like of official. Official. Shout out, Eddie. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, hi guys. Hello. Welcome to Hello. another bear cozy time because I've decided that's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> he made the executive decision. Well, we both we both said it before. I just said I want to be cozy. Yeah. So. Just wear sweaters. Bree's wearing a cool wolf sweater. Best time to wear a striped sweater. It's all the time. <laughs> do you have a striped sweater? Oh, we do. I do have one. I have one too, actually. That's mm-hmm. true. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, as you see, we tried something different. We're a little set here. You can see all my plants. Yeah, actually, you can. Well, um, majority. Yeah, the ones behind me, and then there's, there's some behind you. You know what's funny? What's up? We put these stands here so we don't bump the mic yeah, so we don't move it. it. <laughs> but I'm not, I wasn't intending to do like know, this. But I kind of like rubbed against it earlier and it was like, <laughs> like ASMR like. But at least we're not, yeah, at least we're not doing this because <laughs> if you watched last time. I moved a lot. I don't hold mics. I do on stage, but. Yeah. But we prep those differently. I don't know, but you can't really hear the hand holding when you're on stage, which is interesting. Wait, what was that? You can't hear the hand holding when you're on stage. Sometimes you hear my nail or something like knock it or my ring usually knocks it, but it's like rare. Yeah, but you don't hear like. The constant. This, yeah, yeah. Like, like last, like last podcast. <laughs> I heard it. I was like, oh, we need to put something else. <laughs> Jerry said, no. no! <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, today we are going to be talking about marriage. And checking in. And checking in too, because mm-hmm. that's what we do here. Um, but before we get started, I want to say something. What? Jerry made his dog <laughs> <laughs> Yay! The week of recording this. It's been a month. Hey, I, I did it. But though. you did it. I did it. You did it within the, the, sp- the, the time, time frame. Yeah. Can I'm proud it. of you. Yeah. I think by the time by the time this comes out, <clears throat> excuse me. By the time this comes out, you will I will have had my had, doctor's appointment. So it's in like two days. Is it two days, really? Tuesday. No. Wednesday. Thursday. Your doctor's appointment? Yes. Dang, I'm wrong. What's on Tuesday? <laughs> Our car appointment. That's Wednesday. No, that's Tuesday. What's on Wednesday? I have a meeting. You right. Marriage. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So what I was saying, we're gonna we're gonna talk about marriage. We've been married. By the time this comes out, too, we, it should be our third year anniversary for our for being married. Uh, by that point, we've been together for like ten years. Long time. Yeah. A third of my life. Yeah. Almost a th- oh, pretty much a third of your life too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and we'll also do a check in because we because we didn't do it yesterday. Well, we kind of did. We started. We started did a check in. Yeah, we've kind of just been checking in like all week. It's been an uh, interesting. There's week. been a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, exciting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, how how are you? As of right now. I have a migraine coming on. Mm, I don't like migraines. Um, but I'm good. Yes. I, today was very emotional in a good way. That's good. It just felt like a lot of weight was just like lifted, mm. you know, and I didn't even have to go to the gym. <laughs> so <laughs> it was just, it was just, it felt like, not it felt like God literally like ripped stuff out today and mm. I'm thankful for it. You know, yeah, I like that. Yeah, he'd be ripping. He said, "Rip it, rip it." Tyler Perry, uh, thing. It was mm. in a movie. Which one? I think it was Diary of a Mad Black Woman. I think I saw that one. And then, like, she gets mad. I don't know. It's a whole thing where she gets mad going back to her like ex husband's house and seeing yeah. and She's like, "A wire hanger." It's really. It's been a long time since I've seen it, so I probably don't remember. <laughs> wire, but I heard you say wire hanger in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up in my household, though, like we always watched Medea. Like mm-hmm. we always, like we had the plays on DVD. But mm-hmm. then when the movie started coming out, like somewhere, we won't go into that topic. <laughs> we can't. We were no. talking about Medea right now. No, well, th- I thought the plays were a lot better than the movies. Oh yeah, I agree. You showed me the plays. Yeah, those yeah. were. I just because when they broke character and it's just it's just a true like, mm-hmm. you know. I, it's fun. It, I think the whole life part. Um, is interesting too because it's the the live element like you know like when you're on stage and sometimes 
every time, even if you rehearse it multiple times, it's not going to come out the same every single yeah. time. So it's the variability mm-hmm. of a live performance. Mm-hmm. So I agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, today was good. Sunday was, yeah, Sunday, you know, Sunday's always busy for both of us. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of, a lot of energy, spiritually, physically, mentally. Emotionally. Uh, emotionally. <laughs> uh, this week was good. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of moving parts. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, it, I think it was a good week. Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of, it was a lot of weight. Yeah, so I just, just want to thank you for, for like everything, just being you and just oh. being patient with me and of showing course. me grace through this time and this season. So um, like, yeah, you know, I love you. I love you. You I'll know, I got you. You <laughs> me. You my rock. I mean, well, the Lord's my firm foundation. I know. Yes. But then you're right there ah. like, <laughs> go God. <laughs> no, but I think what you're saying really ties into what we were talk. We we're going to talk about today because um, Yes, me being supportive and being there for you as I am now. I don't think I was that way like the whole time. Like 10 years ago, I would probably not. We, we weren't. We weren't. Three years ago, yes, but not to the extent now. Mm-hmm. So I think we've grown a lot in the past three years of being married. Yeah. I think getting married definitely changed how our relationship works. Um, not just because we're married, but I think... There is such weight to the title of husband and wife. Yeah. And I think we talked about that when we first got married. Like literally the day after, I think I told you, it was like calling you my wife feels so different it than to call you my like girlfriend. I'm like... Or fiance. Or fiance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know you were like the morning after because we slept all night. I was so tired. <laughs> I woke up and I looked at you like, good morning, wife. And I was like, ooh, I like that. <laughs> Well, there's, well I, I think it's a term, like, husband and wife is a term nowadays that isn't valued like it used to be. Yeah. Right? I mean... Yeah, because people just be saying wifey or hubby when they mm, don't even have that, like, actual privilege of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's... Marriage isn't seen as important as it used to be, mm, which is mm. something so crazy but it's the world we live in yeah not not to say that we're like experts because we've only been three we're only three years in yeah but i think for us like there we've, we've definitely have felt the difference yeah like we're from being boyfriend girlfriend for seven years boyfriend girlfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend. <laughs> and then three years being married there's been such a shift in our lives yeah. and the value we have for one another is yeah. so different after yeah making that covenant yeah, I think, not I think, I know it's because too, like when we were dating, we were leaving, living a completely different life yes. and we didn't have God in the center of it. Like, yes, we both believed in God mm-hmm. and we, like, I know for me, I was always like, God knows my heart, mm-hmm. girl. I didn't know my heart. Yeah, yeah. I was claiming something and I'm like, how can I say that God knows my heart when I really don't know him? Mm-hmm. Um, but one thing that we've done differently is that we've put him at the center mm-hmm. of it all mm-hmm. and him being the focal point of yeah. it. Like, yes, we um, like we put him first, then each other mm-hmm. and then everything else, mm-hmm. you know, because mm-hmm. like our relationships individually with God, our relationship together with God, but our relationship is something so powerful with him. Yeah. And I see the difference of our relationship from looking back to now. Mm -hmm. Like the way we tried to support each other before was like, I will say me, I was a broken girl trying to keep you Mm. um, and doing whatever I could to keep you instead of seeking God first and asking him, is this how I'm supposed to even be doing it? Mm. And the thing is you never required that of me, but I did that because I was just like, I finally got something good. (laughs) I got somebody good. I got my Filipino prince. Shout out Cinderella with Brandy. Like I, you want to explain that for people? What? My Filipino friends? Yes. <laughs> Long ago. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm going to just start off with saying, like, some people know, many of people who w- watch this won't know, mm-hmm. but I come from a biracial family. Mm-hmm. Um, my mom is black and my dad is white. Um, and I grew up watching Disney movies, but yes. the Cinderella I grew up with was the Cinderella with Brandy. Mm-hmm. Um and 
I had always thought that it was impossible mm, nice. to get up. <laughs> see that? <laughs> <laughs> to especially where I was growing up mm. too. Like I wanted a Filipino prince just because of that movie. Which is so wild. To I know. was like, Mom, see that? I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I want one. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know how, but I want one. I'm a cute one. Mm. But then I also was like, I don't know how it's going to happen. <laughs> you know, so um, growing up, I always wanted that. Especially, mm. it was so interesting too, because he had um, a black mom, a white dad, and he was Filipino. I think yeah, they just found anyone that. that was like tan that could sing. Like, I don't know how it was in the 90s, but that's like. Hey, but hey, representation yes. at that time. Yes. I, I'll take it. But then one day we were all sitting at my t- like dining table my mom was there jerry was there and then i was like mom remember growing up i always said i wanted a filipino prince she was like yeah and i we were maybe like two three years in yeah. already and i was like and she was like you got one i was like yes, i did i got one a filipino prince <laughs> um jerry's like what like, what's going on like i i just i i watched that that version of the Cinderella story, like growing up too, but I was like, I didn't even think about it. I think I knew he was Filipino, but I was like, you didn't like, no, it didn't click. Yeah, not for me. Um, yeah, I don't know. Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, when I found this out, I thought it was just so wild in my brain. I'm like, what? Like, you always want to date a Filipino, and that's when we're dating. Like, that's yeah. Crazy. But I will say too, like, okay, um. And I know you've told me this too. So mm. like after moving to Oceanside mm. and San Diego County, there mm. the Filipino like population is big yeah. in Southern California. Yeah, yeah. So like everyone that I was friends with, all Filipino mm-hmm. guys at the time wanted to be with just Filipino girls. Yeah, that's really common. It's really but you I, know, I, I think that's not just a Filipino thing. That's no, like, it's like within it, each like yeah, a lot of different cultures. Cult- culturally, you know? a lot of the time, but, if that's what you're exposed to all the time. Yeah. Yeah. But for me, that was not me because I had, I came from two worlds and I was already like, I want, I need some spice in my life. Give me some synagogue, baby. <laughs> and <laughs> that, is, that is her like favorite Filipino dish. No. Oh, what, what is it? No, I love synagogue, but my favorite is kare kare. Oh, yes. Well, your second is yeah. synagogue. Yeah. Third is dinagoan. Which is wild because most people don't like dinagoan, even Filipinos. Well, your mom's. Oh, yeah. No, I only like my mom's. I don't really like anybody else's. Yeah. Yeah. I tried. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> no offense, but... You know, it's like almost... Sometimes it's like too runny. Which is funny because you just, you think about the runny part. But some people think about like the... Oh, because it's... The recipe... The, the ingredients aren't cooked properly. I know. What The one time when I found out, we were in Florida and everyone the, told me... Yeah, it was the first time you had it. No, I had it before. Oh, you had it before? But they told me what would, what I it was. I thought that was your first time. No. Oh. I had it before. But then we were sitting at the breakfast table. I think it was Joseph. He was just like, you like that? Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah. He's like, do you know what it is? I said, no. And he was like, it's pork blood. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't care. <laughs> it tastes good. <laughs> that ain't going to change my mind. Yeah. But we got to. <laughs> but we come back around. So yeah, Filipino prince. That's me. That's you. I mean, but now you're my Filipino king, baby. <laughs> I, did, I did. You see me struggle for a bit. I had to make sure. You're I put trying up to make the, sure it's facing the right way. <laughs> yeah, my ring was. <laughs> um, but, yeah. but yeah, so we got married like all just about three years ago, mm-hmm. which is wild. I feel like it's gone by so quickly. It feels like it has, but it hasn't. It mm. feels like it's crazy because it feels like we've been married a long time. Mm. Not together a long time, but married a married long, time. long time. Yeah, yeah. But, which isn't a bad thing. Well, I think it's because I think we've done a lot of growing since being married. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think a lot of our marriage, tie, the time we've been married ties in together our time here mm-hmm. in Western New York. So, like, we've grown a lot mm-hmm. since then. Like, we legit got married and then moved. Yeah, which is another story. Which, yeah. actually, I, I'm thinking the, the next vlog to come out is actually going to be uh, a throwback to our road trip so yeah. you'll see that journey yeah but i just think it was i think doing that though was good for us mm. i think getting married and moving across the country away yeah. from everything and everybody we knew like yes it was hard mm-hmm. but we were able to build 
our relationship Mm -hmm. on what we wanted Mm -hmm. and not the opinions or ideas or, you know, um, well, it's all, I things think of other people, which yes, we took stuff like with us, but with I think, us, I think it's yeah. also the idea of a fresh start for us yeah. just cause it was, it's a new union. It's a new season. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we weren't influenced by those around. Yeah, it, was it was very just, much was us God, on our own. Us, God. God. That's it. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Um, okay. So three years, mm-hmm. um, what has been your favorite part of being married thus, thus far? Being with my best friend, Mm. like truly, like I, yes, we were best friends before, but our relationship now, like not Mm -hmm. just marriage, but friendship and just our communication, Mm -hmm. it's so healthy and so, sorry, I booped it. Um, So healthy and (laughs) ba-da-ba-ba-ba-boop, boop (laughs) boop boop Um, I feel so safe Mm. with you. Um. I really think people need to be best friends with your with their spouses. Um, you gotta like your spouse. I mean, why you get married if you don't like them? <laughs> well, some people just. Well, I will say some people try to get married because they think it's gonna fix the problems of the relationship, but it's mm. not. Yeah. Whatever you carry in is going to be amplified there. Yes. Yes. But I just love having my best friend with me. You're my best friend. Best friend. Best friend. I was your best friend you you know? all, all the time. time. And I am, and you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's something that's so healthy, mm-hmm. you know? Okay. And we work at it, mm-hmm. and we continue to work at it. And the thing is, we continue to choose each other, too. Mm-hmm. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, that's that's what marriage is, right? You, you choose to be with that person mm-hmm. every single day. You don't give up, no matter how hard it is. Uh, no matter if it feel like you don't really love them in the moment, right? It's just like you you fight through all of it and figure it out together. Yeah. That's like you don't give up on each other. Yeah. Because uh, was it you? We talked about it uh, at church the other day. Like love sometimes isn't enough. Yeah. Um. So it's a matter of like, do do I want to do life with this person? Do mm-hmm. I want do I want them to be my companion for the rest of my life? Do mm-hmm. I want them to help me? Go through my trials and tribulations, mm-hmm. be my support. Yes, we have God and Jesus, but yeah. we're not meant to be lonely. We're not mm-hmm. meant to be by ourselves. We're meant to be in community. Yeah, and I think uh, a covenant of marriage is is a form of that. It's something it's, so sacred. It's very sacred, and it should be valuable. Like it's a valuable thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like I always, I think back to like I forgot who I was talking to, um, but they were asking me like how did you know Mm. and i asked myself a few different things i was like if we lost everything Mm -hmm. and all we had was each other Mm. god and each other Mm -hmm. like is that who i feel safe with Mm. and is that who i see myself with Mm. and i said yeah Mm. because with you like we've been through we've been through a lot a lot and we've had seasons where financially it wasn't the best Mm -hmm. like it's been a struggle it's been hard yeah but it's worth it with you are you teared up no no (laughs) like i I I mean i made him cry (laughs) (laughs) i'm tearing up and i'm talking (laughs) i should have brought tissue because i felt like this one was gonna be like no do you have a box no i ran out oh What's been your favorite the last three years? All right, my favorite part of three years of marriage was crazy. I think it's just like the random stuff, honestly. Like, I think we're at that point in our relationship where we're very comfortable with ourselves around each other and like around other people where we could just be ourselves. There's no, we don't really have to filter and be like, Oh no, I'm embarrassed. Like you get what you get. You get what you get, <laughs> and it's just just fun. Like we we the silliness, even like even during serious moments, it still comes out. Like we're we're just we're still genuinely us, and I, I think how we've grown in the past three years has just shown how comfortable we are as we're as people. Like yes, there's things that still need to we need to work on as people. Uh, 
And even in our relationship, like we're not perfect with each other, but we're still learning. But I think it's the how comfortable we are yeah. with one another mm-hmm. and being able to not only accept who we are for one another and as, as but also like all the imperfections too. So like just we're not as we're like we're not as critical about each other. Like yes, we might get on each other's nerves sometimes, but we we're like we're still loving. We're still like we're like I love you. I love you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I will add to that too is like mm. um, for both of ours is our communication. Oh yeah. Like we and it's been so helpful. So I took a communications class in college, mm. and I read this book called Reclaiming Conversation, mm. which I we've talked about many mm-hmm. times, mm-hmm. but. Um, it talks about how a lot of times when we hear something that hurts us, like it's something that we take the wrong way. Mm. So, and you know this, like there were times where we would kind of just like get upset with each other and that's not even what we meant. So one thing that we do now and that we've done ever since I took this class, even like before, like being engaged and being married, like what we're more intentional about it now Mm. is like, if I hear something that you said mm-hmm. and it hurts me, mm-hmm. I go back to you and I say, hey, this is how I took it. Is that what you meant? Mm-hmm. And 99% of the time you <laughs> are like, no, girl, that's not what I meant. And this is not that was not my intention to hurt yeah, you. Yeah. And then we conversate about that and you tell me what you meant mm-hmm. and vice versa. Mm-hmm. Like, you know how many arguments and like pop-offs and like yeah, things yeah. like regretful conversations we could avoid if yeah. we just took the time to sit and actually be like hey let's circle back for a second i didn't like that you said this yeah. and this is how i felt you it, know it's been a lifesaver for i think our relationship it, oh for sure in our marriage like because communication in every aspect of any relationship is so important yeah so for us to just let misunderstandings just be misunderstood the whole time and let it fester let it fester that's not healthy Mm -hmm. so like that's that's a tip i give to anybody like hey you're having communication problems like use this because Mm -hmm. i mean there's there'd be like just small instances with us or like just passing by and like i say something and you're like i didn't like that i was like (laughs) wait what did you hear (laughs) I'm like, my <laughs> feelings. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like, as long. As, I think our biggest thing is if we can, if it's like a small spat, we'll just nip it in the bud right away, even before it yeah. becomes a thing. Because sometimes it's not even supposed to be a thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Just that's a great tool. So mm-hmm. use that, somebody, everybody. Put that in your toolbox. Yes. Lock it. That's in a there. great relationship tool for. Yeah. Like any form of relationship, any like form of relationship. friendships, like with a if you're if you're leading people, um, don't be. I think that I think the hard thing with that is you need to be comfortable with the person you're talking to, mm-hmm. and that that you're receiving that information from. Because yeah. if you're not, you're not willing to be vulnerable because yeah. it's a vulnerable question. And it's also a pride thing. Too. It is very much a pride thing because you're asking or you're telling them. You hurt my feelings. Is this what you meant? Yeah. Like you're no. exposing the fact yeah. that like I have feelings. <laughs> Max, <laughs> I have feelings. <laughs> um, yeah, like especially because we grew up in the age and culture of like, you know, you never let somebody see you hurt. Like, mm-hmm. don't let anybody see you hurt. Like, mm-hmm. you hurt me, I hurt you. Mm-hmm. You know, it's mm-hmm. very much like. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Where in reality, it does. We just push it down Mm -hmm. and we don't like conversate about it or Mm -hmm. bring it back up. We'll just like keep pushing and pushing and pushing and like letting it fester and letting it build until it explodes. Like imagination. Not Fantasia. Fantasmic. Fantasmic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so what are, what are my questions? I have a list of questions, actually. Let me ask. Okay, this is a good one. Um, from these three years, mm-hmm. being married, mm-hmm. what are three things that you learned about yourself? By myself? About yourself. Oh, about myself? Mm. Oh, dang. Good one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um... Wow. Um, one, 
that I am worthy of love. Mm. Yes, you are. You're very worthy of love. Uh, um, two, that I actually love love. <laughs> <laughs> no, because before, like, I never, I never wanted marriage. Mm-hmm. I never wanted mm-hmm. this. And I want it and I always want it and I want it forever. I mm-hmm. want it forever with you. I want it forever with you too. And, um. I love love and I love marriage. <laughs> so that's number two. Three. Mm, well, it kind of ties in with the first one, but mm. um, that I'm not too broken to be loved. Mm. And God has definitely like healed me through so much. Mm-hmm. Um, And he's given me and blessed me with a man who has been patient through it all Mm. and who encourages me through it all. Um, Oh, wait, that'll tie in with the first one. My third one, uh, one thing that I've learned about (laughs) myself is that, um, one, I can't do it all by myself. And (laughs) no, like, (laughs) but also like submitting to my husband Mm. is something that I didn't realize I needed to do. Mm. Hot topic. Yeah. You are definitely worthy of love every single day. And I, I try my best <sighs> to tell you I love you every single day. Just, you do. I know. But also, like, I want to make sure you feel it every single day. Even if even if we're, there's moments we're upset with each other, you still need, to, you, I hope you still know yeah. I just love you because um, you, you're worthy of it. Mm-hmm. Um, not just because you're my wife. You are a daughter of the King Most High. <laughs> same, same. <laughs> no, but like for for a person who is so empathetic and just wants to give love, it's crazy to hear that you didn't think you deserved it. I like I I know I know your history and I know I know what you've been through and all the things you feel, uh, which has been a big topic of, as of late because of you're you're doing going through like a healing journey but um yeah always remember that you're loved and deserve it no matter what's happened in the past is that's not your future yeah and that's i try to remind you that every day um don't fall (laughs) i think it's too late they're watering (laughs) (laughs) but uh yeah i love you that's great i love hearing that go you (laughs) go brad (laughs) and jesus (laughs) no yeah jesus has Played a big part yeah. in that revelation for you. I know that. What about you? Ooh. <laughs> uh. Um, I can't do it all, and I shouldn't have to. That's that's the one for sure. Mm. I think uh, the burden of most husbands or just male partners is we want to figure it all out for for our spouses. We want to be this problem solver. We want we want them to feel safe, and I, I think that is part of our role. But that's the that's that is I, yeah that's a true burden of being a husband, especially especially if your wife is gonna submit to you. You need to be be able to know that you can con- control things and make things happen. But you don't have to do it by yourself. Mm-hmm. There, it's also like the rest of the verse submitting to your wife. Yeah, to your wife. Like yeah. she's, you You are there for me even when I know I can't do it all. Yeah. It's a matter of like letting you know like, hey, I don't have it yeah. like in me, like mentally, yeah. physically, yeah. spiritually. Yeah. So like, can, I need help. Yeah. I think that's one thing that we do very much, like do very well is like we always, people always say the thing 50, 50. And we've talked about this for mm. the last like few mm. years mm-hmm. that people always say, no, it's 50, 50. No, it's a hundred, a hundred. Yes. We give a hundred, a hundred. And when you're only able to give, um, when you're only able to give 20%, mm. I'm going to give my hundred plus that 80% to fill you mm. and vice versa. When I'm feeling like 10% down in the dumps, you're going to give me that 90 yeah, plus your hundred. Mm-hmm. You're going to reach for it and we're going to pull each other through it. Mm. Like, if I'm not feeling good, I'm not feeling myself. You like, yeah. You carry. You got to you got to you got to fill the gaps for your for your spouse. Yeah. You got to be there with them because, like, like you said, we're not always gonna be 100. Mm-hmm. percent Like this week, I'm I'm sure there's a point where I was in 100, percent and I know you haven't been 100 percent this week either. But we've carried each other. We carry each other, 
That's what you're supposed to be there for your your partner, your mm-hmm. spouse, mm-hmm. your wife, your husband. Like be there, mm-hmm. uh, be present because that's that is what is required of you when you make this commitment, yeah. this covenant. Yeah. Be there. Um, sometimes you can't, but when you're available and present, uh, even like a small percentage matters, mm-hmm. right? Okay, two more. Two more. Oh my gosh. It was hard. I don't know. Why did I ask for three? I don't know. <laughs> you made the question. <laughs> you ask me like I made the question. <laughs> I know nothing about this moment. <laughs> um, I I think I've... I think I learned myself. I'm more patient than I thought I was. I know. Like I, I think I've always had like a lot of patience. But I think in the season we're in... I've grown in it mm-hmm. and I think that that goes with like interruptions are okay. Divine interu- interruptions are okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like, that's how life is. Right. Like sometimes you might need me to do some. Wait. I'm so sorry. Did my eyes go cross-eyed for a second? I don't know. I didn't see it. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. You had a moment, but I, my eyes felt like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> We can, we can verify on the camera later. Okay. It just felt like they went, yeah. <laughs> makes you think of the cartoons. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was like. It <laughs> <laughs> What are you saying to my face? Eyeballs? I don't know what I said. That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're fine, baby. That's so funny. See? Hey, that's perfect. We're talking about interruptions. What's up? I didn't even know that was a plan. Okay, continue. I'm so sorry. Divine oh, no, interruptions. Cause, what? Because there's sometimes, like, that's how life is, right? Sometimes, sometimes I'm doing something and you ask me to do stuff. Sorry. I knew I was going to spit. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. That's like perfect. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like sometimes there's 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 instances where like I'm doing stuff, but you need yeah. help. Yeah. I'll say yes. Sometimes I don't. Re- I don't really want to. Then tell me. No, I know that, but sometimes like. I sometimes think, you do. Yeah, and sometimes I do. I, I probably could say it more, mm-hmm. but I know sometimes you just need the help to get it done. Yeah. And I, sometimes for me, it's better to just do it now. Rather than you try to figure it out by yourself, <laughs> which yeah. would make it longer. Because <laughs> it goes into what you said. You're like, yes. I don't need to do it by myself. <laughs> like, I have the manual, but I started from the last page. <laughs> Why'd you start from the last page? Because I tried to do it by myself. <laughs> Not only did I read from the last page, it was the Spanish edition. So oh. I'm like, como se dice, como se dice. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> I don't mean to. It's just hard to focus. You know my know. But yeah. yeah. But I've been getting better with no, like, know. with, um, because a lot of, I'm trying to make sure I can do it myself and that I will do it myself. Yeah. I, I think, I think at the point you're at, like you gauge it now, right? When and I that, can and when can't. you can, you can. And when you really can't, then that's also me. That's also on me too, to be like, let you do it. Even if I think you're struggling from afar, I would take for you to ask now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's probably Instead better of, that yeah. way. Because I, 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 I think I've always wanted you to be able to flourish by yourself. Mm-hmm. But it's the it's the fixer helper in me that wants to like always step mm-hmm. in for you. But I can't always step in for you. But you know what's crazy though? Mm-hmm. When we first started our relationship, I, like when we first started dating, I never wanted help. Mm-hmm. I never wanted it Mm -hmm. because I wanted to be independent and I didn't want Mm -hmm. to have to rely on a man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to have to be dependent on anyone but myself. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, no, it's okay to ask for help. But then I still struggle with asking for help sometimes. And then like, I'm better at it. Mm -hmm. Joey, you know me. (laughs) Now we're we're trying to find the balance of 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 asking for help. Yeah. And like, can I do it by myself? Yeah. Yeah. And I can. Yes, you can. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> let's see third one the next question i'm not saying three i'm just saying one but uh, you have a third another three yeah but that's just gonna be one this is hard yeah. <laughs> i told you i didn't choose this <laughs> you did i'm just i'm here <laughs> uh three yeah i think it's i so with i guess it ties in with my first one like i don't need to do everything but 
I can do many things. I can do hard things, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Because when you're when you're married, yes, when you're dating, you go through hard stuff together. But I feel I feel like oh yes, with the the excitement of being married, the the, the perks of being married, at least for like how I I've, I've seen them, there's there is a bigger burden. Like it goes with it. Like yeah, and a lot of things that tackle that I can do hard things. Like that's that's I've learned the past three years. Um, Excuse me. What? I burped. Oh, I didn't hear it. Okay, good. Cool. Because <laughs> um, I think I feel like we've gone through a lot of stuff together that I didn't, I didn't think we would have been able to like mm-hmm. ten years ago. Oh yeah. Um, where. Yeah, and the burden is not my own. Like, yes, we share it. We also share it with mm-hmm. our Lord. But we, we we can get through a lot of stuff that we probably wouldn't have been able to before, mm-hmm. which is it's wild. Like, we're, we're better every single day. We have, we've gotten stronger every single day yeah, in the, every aspect. The difference is that we tried to do it on our own. Yeah. We wouldn't let each other in. Because, mm. like, when you'd go through stuff, you never told me if you were feeling anything. Yeah. When I'd ask you if you were okay, you'd just say, yeah but you were hurting Mm -hmm. and you never told me. Mm -hmm. But then the same thing with me, I never told you. And then the times I did, it felt like I was a burden. Mm. And I just, I remember like in our relationship, I tried to pull so much out of you that you didn't want to give, like give, you know? And it almost like, I look back at it now and it was hurt. It hurt me like at the time, because I was like, I give so much. Mm Mm-hmm. And I just want something in return. Mm-hmm. Like you gave in different ways, mm-hmm. but I just wanted like a piece of what was inside your soul. Mm-hmm. I wanted a piece of like, what are you actually feeling? Mm-hmm. You know? And then now we actually communicate about it. And you tell I me think, like what you actually, we're, yeah. we're better about it. I, I, I think I still struggle with releasing um, what I'm feeling like in that way. But mm-hmm. I definitely know I'm better. Mm-hmm. Um, we talk about it. We actually then. talk about it. Now. Yeah. Yeah. It's a conversation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. That's my tree. Okay. You want the next question? Yeah. The next question is, what is, what have you learned about me in the past three years since we've, since we've been married? Mm. Mm. <laughs> what have I learned? Um, well, I feel like when we were dating, I feel like I knew you. Mm-hmm. Well, I I knew like it's almost it's almost like I knew of you, but mm-hmm. now that we're married, I know you. Mm-hmm. Um, I've learned that you are such a strong and wise man of God. Mm-hmm. With everything that we've been through and just with your growth, Mm -hmm. um, I've learned your patience. Mm -hmm. I've learned your kindness. I've learned your, about your trust and just, I've just learned more about you because like with us, it's a growing thing and Mm -hmm. we grow every single day and we're willing to grow every single day. And, um. I think it's just something I'm going to continue to learn because we're changing every day, like Mm -hmm. because we're by the grace of God, like, thank God we're not the same as yesterday, mm-hmm. you know? Um, but I feel like I've just learned who you are mm-hmm. and who God is calling you to be. Mm. And it's just, it's just so amazing to see. I've just learned you, mm. you know? Yeah. If that makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes all the sense. And one, one thing I've learned that I've seen, well, one thing I believe about you mm. And I always try to encourage you with it is that I know you are capable of more than you allow yourself to be. Mm. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's why I cheer you on. Jerry, Jerry, he the <laughs> man. He can do it. Yes, he can. I'm <laughs> 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 no, so serious. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> Serious moments and then for us. <laughs> that was perfect. That's so funny. I love you. I love you. You're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> so what about you? Like, I've always known that you were always, you've always been a strong 
woman in my eyes. But I never... Because the more I learn about you, the more I hear about stuff like I didn't know about. I'm like, you you really are very resilient and strong. And like you've gone through a lot. And you're here. You're still here. And you haven't given up. I know, I know there's been times you've wanted to, but you're... Yeah, dog. <laughs> I'm like, can I... Pause button, restart, <laughs> start that level all over again. <laughs> and I, I, I think I just got reminded the past three years, like, how, how strong you are. And I think that really ties into your faith, right? And, like, your trust in Jesus. Like, I know you, I know you, I know you struggle still with that sometimes, too. Like, sur- surrender... Surrender to <laughs> to him is very hard. Yeah. It's an everyday thing. Yeah. But I think that your trust in him is your strength. Uh, was it? The joy of the Lord is your strength. Mm-hmm. Like, no matter what's going on, it's like the spirit of joy that he brings down to us when mm-hmm. we call upon it. Like, that's what gets us through mm-hmm. the day. That's what gets you through everything. And, like, I, it's been so cool to see that the past three years. And I know we'll see it, like, moving forward. Yeah. It's been really cool just seeing, like, your walk with God over the last three years. Mm. And just how, like, it started, but how now you're really taking that mm-hmm. um, head of the household spiritually, mm. like, role. Like, it's something so beautiful because, like, I was, it was almost like I was leading us mm-hmm. spiritually. But now that you're stepping into that role, it's like... I don't want to carry that burden. <laughs> though. I'm like, I'm five three. I could barely lift weights. It's like, a heavy backpack. It's, it is. Mm-hmm. I'd be hunched back mm-hmm. like Notre Dame. Mm-hmm. You know, like sixth grade when we had like mm-hmm. twenty books in our backpack. Mm-hmm. That's me if I try to carry everything. Well, that's that's all God, dude. Yeah, like it really whatever is. whatever piece I have when when we're going through some hard stuff. Like sometimes I'm like. I don't uh, know how. Yeah, yeah. how? And I, like it, when, even when we're in the small groups or just talking with my boys, I'm like. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I don't know how I'm still, like, not frantic. Like, I do have my frantic moments, but sometimes it's, I'm like, really? Like, I should be wilding in my head, but the Lord has just granted me peace Mm because I think he knows that I need to be peaceful in our home, Mm -hmm. and I need to exude it and just... So I know sometimes for you, like at least before, like you saw, like why does he not worried? I was like, oh, I am worried. It just I never felt it. Which I th- I think it, it's not beneficial to you to see me worried too. Because mm. like if you're already thinking about it, like why? What good would that be? Mm. But I think I, I think with that piece, I need to encourage you too sometimes, right? Mm. I just like it's it's okay. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Just hold me while I cry. Like you did today. <laughs> I could do that. Okay. What's up? I have a question. Random mm, question. Random question. It's not like a deep question. Like what you yeah, been doing? Yeah, I'm the deep question guy. Yeah. What has been the funniest uh, memory <laughs> of our marriage? Oh my God. <laughs> we have so many. Because uh, we laugh every day. Yes, which is healthy. Funniest of all, or at least th- one funny thing you could think oh, of. That's, okay, is that all time? Like that's a uh, the whole time. Three years. That's a lot. No, but what's one? So what's fun- funny? What's one funny memory thing? from the last three years? Well, it's not really f- funny, but I think it's an enjoyable. Like funny, he he, or funny, like ha ha. No, no, like it's. I think the one like, that pops in my head, but it's not really funny. But it was just it's so cute and like wholesome for us. Um, it was in our old house, the one, the first one we lived in when we moved here. Um, and we're just dancing upstairs. Going to just dance. <laughs> I love that video so much. Because <laughs> no, it was just so like, it felt so free. Yeah. And I know at first for me, I, like, I think I didn't really want to do it. You didn't. But it was just, I, I know, sometimes like I know how much joy it will bring you. Like even sometimes if I don't want to do it, I do enjoy it eventually. Yeah. Or like in the moment I'll enjoy it. Because it's like, it's your, seeing your smile is worth it. Right, because sometimes I just have to get past myself. I'm like, Dre, you're tripping. Just go. Your wife wants you to have fun. Let's let's have fun. <laughs> yeah. How about you? Mm-hmm. I know I'm funny. You call me funny all the time. You're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're, 
Not many people get to see you, but you are hilarious. <laughs> I laugh all the time. And it's just, it's something, it's just, like, you're funny. Like, <laughs> like I said, not many people get to see this. Um, trying to think. Okay. Hmm. There's two funny memories I think of. What? Our road trip. When you splattered oh, the ketchup, the ketchup all <laughs> over me, <laughs> and, I could do, and I told you to move them. I told you. So the story is, we were on our way here, and we had left uh, Waterburger, uh. and it was. I don't want to. I don't want to start any feuds with anybody. It was good, but it wasn't Jerry's favorite. But the one thing I will take away from it that I loved that we were supposed to bring to our new house yeah. was that spicy ketchup. Spice ketchup that good. spicy ketchup was Inspired. hidden. So we leave. We maybe get like an hour or two away and we stop at a rest stop. And then the ketchups were like chilling in the middle of the, like the console, like near the prindle. And <laughs> I like how you call it the prindle. What? Is the sweet life is that Cody? You mean the prindle? <laughs> <laughs> so it was there. And then I told him to move it. We went inside to use the bathroom, like freshen up, come out. I told him to move it. He did it. He was trying to move it into reverse. I was like, why is it struggling? And then he went, gaga. And then all I saw and felt was, Psh! I've been shot. And he was like, he was like, that's literally what I said. And then he was like, I was like, go back inside and get me some paper towels or something because I've been shot. It was on my blanket that I barely use. It's on my shirt. It was on everything. And you were like, I'm so sorry. That would be I, in the vlog the for the road trip. I all was three, all three, was it all three, all three packets popped. That's crazy. I don't know how, but all of three, I was like. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I remember it struggling, just shifting, shifting to reverse. And I was like, why is this not working? Oh. <laughs> that was wild. Um, What's the second one? The second one. Oh, gosh. It's kind of a mixture between. Well, I think I have three. <laughs> oh, okay. Go ahead. Second one. Um, the first time you were shoveling snow and I told you, <laughs> I told you, I told you months before we should have got a big one. We have this tiny car shovel and Jerry was shoveling through like if we, foot, if we still have the clip, we can pop it a in A foot here. or two yeah. within like snow. And then I'm just like, we should have got a bigger shovel. Like we should have got one. Yeah. And he's just back hurting going through with like this tiny shovel of like, I think it was like almost two feet of snow. It was a yeah. foot for sure. It was at least a foot. Um, but how you were just like, I got it. And I was like, okay, cool. Good for you. Um, the last one was a few weeks ago when we went to the gym in the morning. And it was icy. And I thought you told me to follow you. Like, mm -hmm. it's not icy. Mm -hmm. So it's cold. It's snowy. It's It was melting. But it was icy by our car. And I was like, hey, can you back the car up? Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to slip. And you started walking. And I thought he said... It's fine. Mm -hmm. So I followed you. Mm -hmm. But he he didn't say anything along those lines. Mm -hmm. um, I found out after. I'm trying to get in the car, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I was... <laughs> I never know. <laughs> I'm slipping. It takes me like almost a minute or two to get in the car because I tried to get up. My legs went yeet. And I was like, oh, like... <laughs> <laughs> slip and slide it and then Jerry had to like literally grab my butt and like <laughs> scoop me in. <laughs> I felt so vulnerable because I <laughs> never had to get picked up like that in my life just to get in the car. And then he shuts the door and then he's walking in front of the car. But you legit stopped and looked at me through the window and then you were just like <laughs> 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 Well, I think, well, you are a little uh, accident prone, um, which adds to the funniness. Yeah, you be laughing at me all the time. I don't laugh at your pain. <laughs> I just think it's funny. But when I'm in pain from something that happened, you laugh. No, no, well, I'm not, no. I, I don't laugh that you get hurt. It's just, it's funny. That but I got hurt? No, that you got hurt. It's just how it happened. But I'm in pain from what happened. 
So you left. Jerry, I know you're trying to separate. They're separate. The two. <laughs> I would never want her to be in pain. I know that, but she's still there. They're separate. That's the goal. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's wrap it up. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Uh, okay, before we wrap it up, one last question. Do you have it? Are you trying to think? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have it. Uh, what is something you're looking forward to in our marriage? Mm. Just the rest of my life with you. Mm. Yeah. I love that. I'm looking forward to every single day, every single month and year and second with you. I'm looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love that. I love you. I love you. Mm. 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 Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to seeing you as a mom and raising kids with you. I love that. Mm. And I'm trying so hard. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say two things. Mm. This is very personal right now. Okay. Um, it almost made me cry. Oh. I tried to hide the te- like hold in the tears, but then I felt it in my stomach and I almost had gas. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I was, it's a lot of different emotions. Right now. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. <laughs> See? This is our life. Um, I but I, I, yeah, I'm excited for every moment and mm. every moment, including you being the father of our children, mm. more memories with you. And I'm, I'm excited for whenever God wants to bless us. I'll be the mother. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be the father. You the hit father. the father. I actually know what that means now. Now you know. Yeah. Okay, so Good there's movie. this movie, Cinderella Man. Good movie. Great movie. Watch he had it. never seen it. Yeah. Um, but my dad and I always quoted that part. Like he mm-hmm. was his son realized that he was boxing with the father at the church mm-hmm. and he was like oh, you hit the father and then one day jerry walks in and i'm like this is the movie this is it and then you know now yeah i watched it it's really good yeah it you just love boxing movies too, i do though. love boxing movies yeah we still yeah. need to watch greed greed don't judge us i know the i've seen the first one i haven't seen any of them but i love i like rocky so mm-hmm. i really know i like it mm-hmm. uh yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode um, mm-hmm. Even if we didn't, this I think this, this was good for us just to just it was our check in, a check in, nice reflection. Um, Who yeah. is that girl I <laughs> see staring straight? That's my favorite Disney movie. Back at me. I wonder if you, I don't know if you can see the. No, you can't see the Mulan's on our one. Oh, yeah, Mulan's my favorite uh, movie and Disney princess. Yeah. Yeah. Is she a princess? She is in my world. She's mm. a princess. Comment below. Do you think Mulan is a Disney princess? <sighs> <I'm so good>. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Hopefully you learned something. You can apply it to your your marriage, your future marriage. Um, mm. And just thanks for listening to hear about us. I guess we're cool. Last thing. This could be in the this could be in the end credits after you end. It was a your favorite uh thing i've made for you like baked or meal. oh apple pie easy one time <laughs> one time i got home from a wedding and i made you dinner and, and she made me dinner and like i don't i usually come home late but first i think i come home pretty early for this one well you got home at like eight which is early yeah. for coming home for a wedding yeah but you you i came home to apple pie and i think that's the first time you ever made it yeah right oh my gosh i was so happy like oh, he walked. I was like, "You might be smelling two different things right now." I forgot what I made for dinner, but I, I made remember. dinner and then I made apple pie, mm-hmm. and I was just like, "It's on the counter." <laughs> it was a surprise. Yeah, a great surprise. I love apple pie. Mm-hmm. That's good. You love my apple pie. I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some might say it's his favorite. It is. It's my What's favorite. Do? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, we like these, so we're definitely going to do more of these. Yeah. Uh, how f- more frequently? I want to, but it depends on our schedule, so we'll mm-hmm. see. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Bear Cozy time. Bear Cozy time. He made his doctor's appointment. <laughs> You'll hear about that next time. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. Peace.
We did it. Stop. Oh. oh, that wasn't a good one. Oh, that was how? No. There you go. Happy anniversary. Almost there. Happy almost anniversary. <laughs> it's our bear anniversary. <laughs> it's our bear anniversary. We should record that as a song. Honestly. Do you know what today is? It's, it's our, our bear anniversary. Hey. Our bear anniversary. Tomorrow we'll come big girl. I can't wait. It's our bear anniversary. Cause we're the bears. Bear anniversary. Cause we're the bears. Rawr. Tomorrow. <laughs> Is that gonna be on there? Yep. I'm gonna include it. It's in there. Okay, I'm done now. Okay. Bye. <laughs>